Hi guys, how are you? I hope you've been well. Hasn't been that long since I made a video, but I wanted to come on and talk about castor oil. Hmm, I know. Uh, well, one of the reasons is, um, let's see. First time I heard about castor oil, you guys, okay, if you're watching this, tell me when your first time, when, when did you get introduced to castor oil? For me, it was 1975. I was pregnant with my first daughter and um yeah somebody suggested that i take some castor oil two tablespoons of castor oil to induce labor so it's been around and it's been in my cupboard for many many years did it work i don't think so but anyway as time has gone on we've learned so much about castor oil right like everybody like the medicinal purposes and all the things that you can use it for and um i've jumped on to that uh, quite a while ago quite a while ago and because I the video that I'm going to link that for you guys um, that I did about a year ago it was about creepy creepy skin right uh, when I did that video I was 72 so I'm 73 now and I think it's still helping thank goodness because my weight loss and that uh, creepy creepy skin are very possible but anyway um, what it was is because I use so much of it I make a poultice for the bottom of my feet every night, every other night, when I think of it. <laughs> but I use it on my face, I use it on my eyebrows, I use it on my eyelashes, I massage it in, I put it everywhere. So when I bought this a year ago, I bought it because it said organic. Right there. And I like this because it's a little bit, feels a little bit lighter than like the no name or just a regular castor oil. And I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to slather this all over and put it in the bottom of my feet where your skin, you know, the skin's really, really thin. And I wanted to, it to absorb into my body. So let's just do the best that I can. And so when I ordered this, I thought, yes, I never read it because I've ordered it before. And so, you know, and of course, when we see this, so many things have this little green leaf. So I'm assuming it's organic. And then when I looked at it and I said, I don't, I don't see organic on here anywhere. But I thought this is really weird. So I went back onto Amazon and I looked at this where this bottle and then I read this. And it's not the first thing you see, right? It's no organic in it at all. But if you read further, 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 further down, then they use the word organic. So I was really confused about it. To be quite honest with you, I kind of didn't trust it. So that's just my opinion. Don't forget, these are just my opinions and my thoughts. But I wasn't comfortable with it. Uh, you know what? I use this stuff everywhere. So I really want it to be organic. And I know, you know what? It's, it's so hard to get stuff where you know, are these ingredients good for us or aren't they good for us? But I just do my best. I'm, I love a martini vodka and my kids remind me all the time that gray goose is not organic. <laughs> you got to have a sense of humor about it. But because I do make poultice with my castor oil, I wanted to look into it a little further. And it's going, <laughs> looking into it further is like going down a deep, dark hole. And, uh, my end conclusion without spending, you know, who knows, probably a month of studying and reading to find out everything. There was one thing that I knew I had to look for and that just it saying organic was not going to do it for me. I needed to look for something that had another word attached to it. And I didn't know this doing my little bit of research is like almost anything can have organic in it you know you a company could mix something and have like say six ingredients in it and then throw one organic ingredient in it and they go organic it contains organic ingredients but it doesn't mean it is a totally organic product and since I slather this all over my body I wanted this because I use I'm using it for some medicinal purposes as well. So I wanted the best that I could get. So since I'm using it for medicinal purposes and I'm putting it uh, on my eyebrows every day, I just put a little bit of this 
in a dish and I use it on my eyebrows. I use it on my eyelashes. And like I say, everywhere else on my body. So I switched. And this is what I learned after reading and doing some research in order for me to know absolutely 100% for sure, I need to look for certified organic. That's when you have bought an organic product. Oh, it took some reading, it took a little bit of time, but I was really, I thought, okay, that's really, that's great. I'm glad because you know what? A lot of the, like I say, if they have one or two products in there and the rest isn't organic, why am I paying organic prices? And this wasn't, this was actually, this was less than this. I paid more for this bottle, by the way, plastic. I try, I don't like buying ingredients in plastic. It's hard to get away from, but this is glass. And so it ticked off all my boxes. I know it's, it's, it's like I say, it's hard to do, live in an organic world. And, um, but I just wanted this, I just had a, I just wanted this to be organic and I learned something and I absolutely love it. It's certified organic. It's 500 mil in here. And, um, also don't be fooled by these, like buy this little tiny bottle for $25 for your eyebrows and your eyelashes. This works just as well. It says softens and it nourishes your skin, your hair and your nails. And uh, this one says the same thing for hair, skin and nails. So do not be fooled. You don't have to just get a great bottle of castor oil and use it. So if you are a little bit uh, picky that way, like I am, um, then I would definitely go with this company. and. What, what this means, certified organic, this means that your government and my government have put their seal of approval on it. They have gone, this company has gone through the hoops to get certified organic, to be able to put it on their product and in the description. Like I say, there's lots of things that are organic. I found quite a few castor oils that uh, had organic ingredients in them. So I don't know. I, you know what? I thought this was cool and I'm glad I found it out and I saved some money in the process because you know what? Why pay for organic when it really isn't? So that's good. I want to thank you for being here and do you use castor oil? I'm telling you, it's wonderful. Now, like I say, I think it's really helped my crepey skin. Okay, thanks for being here, you guys. And remember, there is no future in our past. Straight ahead and keep dreaming, no matter where you are. See you later. Bye.